So today I'm going to take you on a tour of my craft space and show you how I have things organized, show you my craft stuff. So it might be kind of a long video, but I'll try to go by quickly. So here's the entrance. This is the spare bedroom in our house. You can see what I open up. It's full to the brim. <laughs> um, I also share this space with our eBay inventory. So I'm going to start here where you come in actually behind the door and I'm going to show you everything but here's a little overview. So when you come in behind the door I have this vinyl organizer but I actually have wallpaper samples in here that I took from a wallpaper book. Actually it was I think three books and I use those for lots of different things and there's my dog. So I have that there. Then I have my Cricut mats hanging on the wall with some command hooks. I also have these t-shirt guides for when I do vinyl or sublimation. And then this down here is actually a background that my husband uses for eBay pictures. So the stuff on top of here is my husband's and some eBay stuff. So I have some more mats. And then I have these two Alex drawers and um, my desk. I have the box for my paper cutter down there. So I also have a pegboard here that my husband built for me. So I'm gonna start here and show you what I have in these drawers. All right, so I have a bunch of vinyl up here, different heat transfer vinyl, puff vinyl, vinyl, and more heat transfer vinyl, although I do have some Cricut vinyl and Cricut Joy vinyl in here that's not heat transfer, but that's where it fit. Then I have heat transfer vinyl and some card bases. So there's a little bit of vinyl back here. And then this is where I started organizing all of my card bases, like my Cricut cards. Oops, I almost put that right there. <laughs> Cricut cards and just other plain cards and envelopes. And then this whole drawer is all card bases, different colors. And I have a bunch of this foil transfer sheets for the Cricut. So this is all cards and card bases. And then I have some shrinky dink film. So I have some printables, some other ones, some patterned ones for making different charms and stuff. Uh, this is just extra printer paper. And then there's some also, also some photo printer paper down here. Um, if you hear anything, my dogs are wrestling. <laughs> okay, next I have coloring books like adult kind of coloring books and then these are all like plastic sleeves and envelopes that I can use to store things organize things if I need to then I have some more adhesive vinyl and then just some random office supplies that I use but didn't really know where else to put I think these are all pens staples um, tape refills get some oil pastels then this is mostly adhesive vinyl although I do have my micro puzzle collection in here too. And then some random cards that I can use in junk journaling. Again, sorry about my dogs. And then this is all faux leather and actually some genuine leather down there too. And then we come over to my desk here. I've got a power strip down there. I have my glass mat that I can use for stamping. I've got calendar, um, Lots of washi tape. I got I get these little washi tape organizers from Hobby Lobby. I like to get, get them when they're on sale. So that just makes them a couple dollars each. Um, just got some regular little office supplies, scissors, markers, that kind of stuff. And then when you go up to the pegboard, I do have most of my lace trims are on here and just whatever ribbon I threw up there. There's no real rhyme or reason but these are actually made for paper towels and they work great for ribbon. I have some other trims, uh, some Cricut Joy vinyl, my heat gun, like the heavy duty one for wood burning, <laughs> some random highlighters. This is a leather punch. I've got some things for when I put vinyl on cups, some hot glue sticks, some more trim. These are extra pieces for the pegboard as are these. Some just random things that I didn't really know what else to do with, an extra blade. These are for wax seals. Um, this is for cutting ribbon. 
and sealing the edges so it doesn't fray. Although I don't think they make this anymore and I need a new wire and I don't think I can find them. So bummer about that. Um, I got some fray check, command strips, just regular What's in here. Oh, these are just some random things for Christmas projects some clay, other random things, more glue sticks, some funnels and zip ties. So that's everything on there. And then we have my EcoTake printer. This is just a regular inkjet printer. And then down here on these paper storage units that are from Michaels, these first two shelves are mostly cutters and punch boards. I have the alphabet punch board. I have a really small paper trimmer that's good for traveling. Um, this paper trimmer has like different blades that do different like wavy cuts and stuff like that. I have the Cricut paper trimmer. Down here I have a mini score buddy. I have this little laser alignment tool for making sure things are straight. This little thing with the tray is good for working with glitter or even embossing powders. Uh, we are Memory Keepers trimmer and scoreboard. And I have the three-in-one punch board and I think this is a gift box punch board. Then I have my paper, mostly just cardstock. This shelf does have all of the things for my um, cinch. And I think this is like sticker paper and um, some printable vinyl, stuff like that. And then we got more paper, more paper, more paper, more paper. And then on the other side up here, on this paper organizer, this is just like Astro Bright's paper. Um, these are actually shipping labels for eBay. And then this is copy paper. Then here I have this whole bin is like flowers, silk flowers and embellishments. And then I have some more ribbon, ribbon in this thing. And then this is like ribbon and trim scraps. And my dog is getting into something. What are you doing? It's Reagan and Peta. Okay, then I have this big bin. This is also all ribbon. Um, and seam binding stuff. This is not what it says it is. This is mostly like embellishments, buttons, things like that. This is scrapbook paper, so it's actually like thin scrapbook paper in here. And then these are mostly solid card stocks that are eight and a half by 11. Although there is a few other types like stationary paper in there. This shelf is mostly like small six by six pads or smaller of paper. I just kind of put it right there. And then this is more paper. I have it, I think this is the double-sided paper and single-sided, although, nope, this is all double-sided too. So these two shelves are double-sided. Um, these are a couple paper pads down here. These are all Disney paper. Um, this, these are all papers that have like words or themes on them. So Christmas and then things that just have a lot of words. And then this is all the single sided paper. And then down here I have the big foil transfer sheets. I have like Cricut craft board and Cricut construction paper, just like uh, a lot of Cricut branded things. And that's those two towers. Okay, now, so coming over here, well, first of all, I have my Barbie collection up here. So 80s and 90s Barbies, <laughs> that's my collection. And some right there. But let's look at this area next. So these right here are nothing to do with crafting. It's like batteries and some cleaning supplies and things like that. Now in here, I've got Lysol wipes, obviously our, um, well, this is my husband's for resurfacing stuff. We got our backup battery. I keep my laptop here. These are all like crafting magazines that I like to keep for inspiration. 
my internet stuff. This shelf is all like my heavy duty cardstock. So like 65 pound, 110 pound I use for album bases. So I have that all here. And then down here I have scraps and they're organized by color. So I just have the colors. So these are all reds, uh, yellows, etc. And then I have one for patterns. And then my heavy duty cardstock scraps are in those. And I do have some really old Sizzix dies down there. And then in this next shelf, I have some stickers that I'm still in the process of organizing. So they're just kind of hanging out right here. I have more of the old style Sizzix dies. And then here is where my stamps and dies start. I do have a Cricut uh, mini heat press pad there, but these are all stencils and stamps and dies, as are all of these. Um, some of them I don't even have in in a binder yet. Um, but I can show you my collection sometime if that would be interesting, but all of this is stamps and dies. Now back here, since it's not very accessible, I have things that I don't need very often. This is just some random stuff I'm still trying to figure out where to put. I have an old paper cutter here, like a, like a, actually I have two of them, heavy duty ones. That's what I use for my chipboard. This is all fabric. And then some of these things in here are just some random things that I want to keep, but I don't really need to access very much. Like I have uh, doubles of paper punches, some stuff like that I just keep in there. So then if you come over here, I have this other storage unit and then this whole big storage unit and my table that I do most of my work on. And my dogs are still playing. <laughs> All right, so on this pegboard, I've got a bunch of stuff. I got duct tape. This is my embossing heat gun. This is a We Are Memory Keepers fuse tool, I think it was called. Water bottle. I have three glue guns. This is the uh, one for really detailed. This is the one that I use for wax seals. And then this is one I use for the bigger glue, uh, glue sticks. I have some random wire here, the stretchy cord safety glasses. These are um, little things for doing boxes to hold the corners together. I have my big pamphlet staple gun, my big um, chomp thing. I don't remember what it's called <laughs> from We Are Member Keepers. Um, this is the tool to put the little plastic snaps on and that's kind of the same thing. I have a bunch of different like jewelry tools plus like pliers, things like that. These are all things I have organized mainly for junk journaling. Um, so they're just easy to grab. And then in front of that section, I have brushes, blending tools, palette knives, um, some miscellaneous like, this is rubbing alcohol. I have some different glues, all my Cricut pens and my Cricut Joy pens, <laughs> some collage paper, that's all there. And then in this, I have, I got my tape measure, my corner chomper. This is a jewelry tool, some like decorative scissors, some regular scissors, tweezers, a little hand stitch thing. These are just like some little tools in here. Um, this is for book binding. This goes with the uh, fuse tool. A bunch of random things. I got my little book guide my big tape runner, um, brayers. I love this tool, this little electric or electronic caliper for measuring things, get really precise, love that. And then just very odds and then very random odds and ends in these little drawers, like extra blades for things. Okay, now in this, I have more paper. So this one, um, this is like fusible fabric paper, some Cricut Joy things. This is all like vellum and acetate. This is a shelf with things that I'm working on currently, so current projects. This is paper that I'm using for an order for a baby book. Um, this is another paper pack I just used to make some things, so it's still kind of there. This is a bunch of random things for the fuse. This is all my chipboard. And then let's look in these drawers. So I have all the various cutting plates and platforms for my Sizzix machines. 
in here. And here I have a lot of different things for making charms for journals and things like that. Beads, sequins, stuff for like shaker cards. Uh, down here I have a lot of Velcro, foam dots, foam tape, magnets, that kind of stuff. And then this is another drawer of like the sequins and charms and things. And then down here is mostly like things I can sublimate on or put vinyl on that are small. Um, my dogs are still <laughs> wrestling. Okay, so the next side I've got a lot of legal pads and like different papers I can use in junk journaling. Um, this is some random tools, a really small old stamp platform. This is for book binding, I've got some rulers, some um, transfer tape. This is a stencil attachment for this Sizzix stamping platform. And then this is the Tim Holtz stamping platform. Here's all my inks. I know it's not the best way to store them, but it is what it is. I have a lot of stamping up ink that literally I bought at Goodwill. It was in a big like Rubbermaid tote for like $15. It was all from, from Goodwill. So it's a ton. And then I have my other little inks there. I have some, whatever these are, Nouveau drops, some lunar paste. I think this is the hero arts paste down there. Oh my goodness. I'm really sorry about them. Um, okay, so this next drawer, um, I have some more dyes, some other different random paste, and then most of this is all embossing powder. I love heat embossing, as you can tell. <laughs> okay, next one are like random things for stamping. I do have alcohol inks in here. Um, you know, all of the blending tools, stamp cleaners, stamping blocks, um, anti-static powder, all that kind of stuff. These are rags I use in my craft room, microfiber. They're great for tons of stuff. Those are in here. This is all different adhesives. So this is like double-sided tape. These are things for shaker cards. I've got binder clips, some pins, painter's tape, um, refills for my tape runner. Hey! And then these bottom two drawers are my paper punches. These are the different blades for that uh, paper trimmer that I told you about that does different kinds of um, cuts. And then down here are more paper punches. All right, so now we have some things down here. I try to put things that I don't have to access a lot because it's not super convenient, but I'll show this area to you now. So first in this first cube, since it's right where I sit, I put, I just usually leave my scoreboard here because I reach down and grab it and then put it down so it's out of my way. Uh, but down here, I've got some silicone mats. I have coffee filters, which are great for when you're working with embossing powder or glitter. I have gloves. The nitrile gloves are what protects you from chemicals. So I, that's the kind I use um, if I'm doing resin or staining, anything like that. I have very sensitive skin, so those are great. I have foil for cleaning blades. I have... What is this? Wax paper. You never know when you might need it. Um, I have like a whole bag of like medicine dropper things. Those are great for all kinds of things. So those are down there. And then this is mostly like chemicals, I guess. I've got like etching cream, um, finishing oil, Mod Podge, sealers, let's see, rubber cement, some stain. Uh, Maker's Magic, love this stuff way more than this stuff. <laughs> and then this up here, um, you know, I got a sanding block. I have things for my mask, um, that kind of stuff. Then I have my power strip so I can plug things in right while I'm sitting here, like my iPad is charging. I have this little vacuum, which is awesome for cleaning up after doing embossing or glitter. And then these four cubes are nothing to do with crafting they're really mainly like some memorabilia some baby books some homeschooling things our projector for when we watch movies outside so those are just there because i didn't have <laughs> anywhere else to put them um okay so this next little area is all like wood pieces wood scraps wood beads all those kinds of things for those projects 
This drawer has a few finished cups, but then a lot of like unfinished cups. This is where I store them until I'm gonna do something with them. And then over here by the window, I have another drawer unit. So I'll show you that next. So I showed you everything over here. I showed you underneath my craft table. Now we're gonna go over here by the window. Dogs are still wrestling. Up here is my daughter's sewing machine bag and some other projects that are just being stored there, I guess. These are some bigger wood blanks. Uh, I've got some tassels in here. These are more wood, wood blanks for, you know, whatever, wood burning, vinyl, anything like that. This is more faux leather, like sheets. And then I've got HTV and adhesive vinyl that's not on rolls. I have them sorted in these bins right here. So I have scraps and then full sheets. Down here is exactly what it says, miscellaneous things. I've got like fairy lights, tea lights, just like random very random things in this drawer that I might need. And then these two drawers are packing supplies. So when I pack orders, I've got like gift boxes, I have tags, um, pricing gun, you know, tagging gun, all that kind of stuff. And then these bottom two drawers are diamond painting. I kind of like, I'll love diamond painting for a while, but then I won't want to do it and then I do it. So I do keep my diamond, diamond painting supplies on hand. And all right, so let's go to these cubes here next. So on my workspace here, as you can see, I've got my Cricut here and my Sizzix here. I leave them out, especially the Sizzix. It's actually pretty heavy. Um, so these are here. This can plug in right down here. So it's ready to go when I need it. Over here, I have an old TV. Sometimes I actually watch VHS. Oh, and there I am. This bin is mostly finished projects, so things I've already completed that I'm either going to, you know, put in my Etsy shop, give away as gifts, whatever, it's just where I throw them. This is all stuff for resin. This is floral, so yeah, it's floral. Let's see, down here, this is like all embellishments that are pretty organized. And then this is all like grommets and brads and you know all that kind of stuff so I keep those right here all right and then this next shelf here I've got my Cricut mini easy press I have some craft sticks these are alcohol markers and then I have these little light bulb shaped safety pins I don't really know what you call them and then these are plastic snaps. And then up here I have my small Sizzix. I have this one that's like just for embossing, like uh, not heat embossing obviously, but like embossing folders and a Cricut Joy. This is where my albums are sitting that I'm working on, junk journals, albums and whatnot. And then let's go to this side. In here. And then this row of cubes is craft stuff and then the rest is eBay so this is the area that I sit and work so I have this cool little scrap bin that's here but I also have my trash can right there I have my magnetic self-healing cutting mat I have a little stand for my phone where I can still plug it in I keep my little stamping pressure thing here and then magnets for the magnet mat tissues and then this box usually just has random things that I'm working on like I was embossing some things stuff like that is in there this is all well not all of it but mostly this is all score tape and then my scissors I have my glue press right here and then down here I have rings for my cinch this is all like wax seal stuff I have more blades for my Cricut this is book binding stuff I have um, sticker makers and a refill this is all like uh, paper pads and sticky notes. I like to make a lot of like folios and things like that. So I have a bunch of stuff for that. And there I have a big roll of transfer tape. These are all my wooden stamps. And then I have a few other like these letter stamps that snap together and some bigger ones that wouldn't fit. So that's up there. Uh, this next area are things I access the most. So first of all, 
I have my stand for my phone when I'm making videos. I have a nice like a little light on it and it can turn and fold down and get out of the way. So really like it. This little spinner are my most used tools. So I have all my like Cricut tools, um, bone folders, picks, some pens and pencils, um, paperweights and tape, uh, let's see, clamps, elastic bands, paper clips, little trays for painting. I don't remember what's in this one. Oh, a random hole punch. Okay. <laughs> Um, this is, well, this is double sided tape. This is like heat safe tape for sublimation. I have my, um, weeding tool thing. And then this is mostly glue. So I have some glue sticks. I have my art glitter glue. I have a backup, um, the, uh, fabric tack. And then these are pens that I can add paper to when I make like a folio, I can make a matching pen. So that is that whole area. Now let's kind of turn around. So we go around this way and then I have this area. So this is like ropes and stuff like that. These are bow makers. This is fake snow and these are um, Christmas ornaments that open up and you can put stuff inside. Then I have my acrylic paints. I have a few of these shimmer sprays and some distress paint. I have them all in here. This is all glitter, uh, more glitter, paintbrush cleaner, some more paint and glitter and beads. All that stuff is there. This is all kinds of markers and pens, uh, watercolor pencils, all kinds of stuff. These are all my embossing folders. These are things that I've made, jewelry and stuff, random CD player, these are mostly like diamond paintings. This is a box I use and open up when I'm using sprays or alcohol inks. Um, this is a sublimation printer. And then I have, so on this top shelf, I have my toolkit and I have the thermal cinch. We are memory makers, keepers, whatever they are. Thermal cinch, I have a laminator. I have this other cinch, you know, that does like the ring binding. These are all, jewelry making supplies um this whole thing this is more ribbon use a lot of ribbon in junk journaling <laughs> um trims down here these are just random hardware and things i might use this is where i keep all my vhs things that i'm going to upcycle into journals and I have books too, but I actually keep them on my bookshelf in another room. Um, I have some covers down there that I've already taken out. And then these are mostly felt and foam pads that I really don't use often, but once in a while, I need them for something. Oh, okay. Uh, next down here, some, what's this? Oh, this is like a wire bending kit. I can't remember what it's actually called. This is all trim, different kinds of trim. Okay. This is paper quilling stuff, which I don't do often, but it is fun. And this is actually just like regular gift wrap. I have a random wood blank right there. And then I have one more section to show you. So this is the final section where I have my craft things in my craft room. I have a TV. I have my oven mitt. This is uh, butcher paper for sublimation. My heat press, sublimation oven. And then in these, I have things that are ready to sublimate on or put vinyl on. So I have like shirts and bags and tote bags. And there's some mugs back there. Just all things sublimation or uh, heat transfer vinyl in this area. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I know my filming wasn't the greatest. I'm very new at this, so I'm sure I'll be redoing this at some point, but that is my craft room and how it's organized right now. Thanks for watching.